welcome back to Regs to Riches. I'm Lauren and today's video is actually talking about debt. Now, not a lot of people like talking about debt and it's understandably like a taboo subject. Um, I have somebody on Instagram said to me, you seem to be really into like personal finance and things like that. Um, you should check out these podcasts. So started listening to these podcasts and they are they're all about like money and stuff and um yeah and it, it really like inspired me to look into my debt my partner's debt and like how we can sort them out so first off i just want to say i am not in debt i don't really take anything out like on finance or anything the only thing i have is um a very account and there is no money going out of it every month so like there's nothing on it at the minute but i do use it and i do think it's very handy to have um i think the last thing i bought on it was about three months ago and it was a car seat and it was only 20 quid so i just thought you know just i think on very it's like take three payments so it was like six quid a month something like that six seven eight seven yeah something like that anyway so that's the only thing i've ever had um apart from the mortgage on my house so yeah like i'm like to me i can it's like a pet peeve of mine i can't stand owing money to people so i think a long time ago when I was about 18, 19, I asked my boss at a cafe that I worked at, um, that's the dog, just in the shot every time, um, asked my boss for a small loan and that I were paying back, I worked all my payments out and I'd said I'll pay back in so many months time, each week, blah, 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 he says, yeah, that's fine. And I paid that off sooner than what I said I would. Um, I just don't like the fact that like people can say, oh, well, she owes me money. She owes me this amount of money. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't like that. I can't, I just can't stand someone having that hold over me. I just, I like to be free. I'm a very free person. <laughs> and I don't like to worry about spending money on things thinking, oh, I've really got to make this payment. I've got to make this payment. So personally for me, nothing. I've got no debt. However, my partner has quite a considerable amount of debt. And mental, mentally, I have taken that on recently since listening to these podcasts. Um, I did put out a poll on my Instagram saying, if your partner was in debt, would you help them out? Now, I found this quite fascinating. So a lot of people said, yes, they would help them out. Like, don't get me wrong. We are making the payments on time. Like the payment situation is totally fine that's we weren't got like bailiffs knocking on the door saying you need to pay this bill basically um it's just normal payments that most people would have and are happy to have see my partner's like totally happy to have this payment but for me debt is the devil and i can't stand it so the approach i'm taking to it is the um baby steps by dave ramsey um i'm gonna try and explain it as best as I can. I might butcher this. I have kind of like made it into my own sort of thing um, as well, which you can do. It's your life. It's your goals. It's your dreams. Like this is just one man set plan and it is for most people, but for us, it's totally different. So I'm going to try and explain it my way as best as I possibly can. So I am, I have got it like on, in front of me on the TV. So I'm not going to look any, Bang on in the camera, sorry. <laughs> okay, so the baby steps. Step one is save a thousand pounds for emergencies. Now, I am doing that right now. I did last year have a two thousand pound emergency fund and I have spent it all. Um, I did achieve that by 2019 in, well, yeah, 2019 in December. Um, so I totally achieved that and I was so happy I did that because I generally did need that money at the end of the year coming into the new year because of coronavirus and all that lot. So I am grateful for doing that and for you guys 
like watching me do that you made me do it if that, I knew someone was watching me so I had to do it so I'm grateful for that so yeah emergency fund so I'm back on with building that up um of a thousand pound um however I've tried to get my partner to do this and he's just like no let's just get the debt paid off so I'm just like I want you to do this step please do it but he's like no 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 so anyway step two is pay off all debts now Dave Ramsey says, write all your debts out and then start with the smallest and then go down to the largest um, and still make the minimum payments on everyone each month. So like if, say if you've got a £100 debt on, I don't know, withdrawal on your bank account, then you pay that off first and then you pay like the £1,000 one next and da 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 da. So yeah. Um, I am going to tell you the total of my partner's debt and this was back in June so the amount is 15,864 and 17 pence. Um, I actually did pay off quite a, sort of, quite a lot actually of that debt um, so far <laughs> um, and things that I'm trying to do with this debt is to um, Whatever my eBay profits are, I give 30% of that to my partner and he pays the smallest one off first. So his smallest one right now is his Little Woods account, which at the beginning um, was £500 and uh, what is it now? Now it's £256. So yeah, <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> um it is a process um i will tell you what they are all are now um so i had my berry account which i just quickly paid off like it wasn't a problem for me so nothing owing on that anymore and i will still keep it open so don't nag at me in the comments it's my life i'll do what i want <laughs> um then it was my partner's overdraft of 200 i paid that off um little woods was 500 my partner's credit card, £729. We have a DFS sofa on finance. <laughs> um, that was, or oh, that is right now, last month it was £1,088. Um, we did get, because I work with that company, I do get 30% off, so we had a huge saving on the sofa. So I know that's not an excuse, but... We did need a new sofa, it was, our old one was getting tatty and we really wanted to redecorate the living room. Okay, and then the next one is my partner is doing a lorry licence at the minute and that is a total of three grand altogether. I think is, I think all that's left on it is 2,500, I'm not exactly sure. Um, it's, that's sort of like iffy, but it probably will be about, round about that mark anyway. Um, and then we have bought a new car on finance, which uh, last month the total was 10,429. So yeah, 15 grand in all. Um, so yeah. Um, so the end of July, which is tomorrow, um, the total is gone down to 14,500 and 73 pound and 16p so i've to close two debts off for one month which is absolutely incredible um so i'm really chuffed about that um so yeah like i say i'm donating like 30 percent to my partner to pay off his debts that's the best way i can do it um that's the only way i can help right now but i've told him um as soon as any overtime comes up at work take it and then that that day's pay will go towards your debt. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, make his mind better. <laughs> like, just pay it off and don't take any more out. I can't stand it. So, yeah, I have, like, emotionally taken it on. Um, also, referring back to the Instagram thing, um, the people that said no, that they wouldn't help their partners out, were all female. And all the men who part in the poll said yes they would help them out so that was really like mind-boggling to me okay so once you've paid off all your debt 
paying into an emergency fund for three to six months worth of bills to like live off um so yeah that's set free then number four invest 15 percent of your income into retirement and then it's number step five which is uh start a college fund now we live in the uk so this is where i go off a bit <laughs> so we live in the uk and um yes we could make a a uni fund but not a lot of people generally do go to university and the debts are so, like you can easily get a, a university fund from a bank so i have decided with that one is that i'm going to um put away 10 grand for my little boy um he's four right now and he's at a thousand pounds over a thousand pounds in savings in his account um so yeah we want to make 10 grand and that is going to be a payment for his first house now i'm not going to tell him this at all um because i think like when an 18 year old sees that oh i've got a bank statement and it says 10 grand they're like party we're hey let's go out on the time it's totally gone all that hard work has gone so i am not going to tell him about it um and probably like race to the front door when the postman comes when he gets old enough um, to not see them statements. Um, so yeah, with me building that account up for him, I put £20 a month away, which isn't a lot. Um, and also I'm going, well, I have been, whenever I sell anything, look how greasy my hair is, like Christ, on a bike. Um, so whenever I sell anything of his, all the profit goes into his bank account. Um, unless he needs something or if we're going to have a day out and I know he's going to like rinse my pockets dry, then I will put that money for him to have and enjoy. So, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, number six, pay off your mortgage. Um, probably by, well, my mortgage only has eight years left on it. So, yeah, what we have decided to do after we have paid all the debt off is to start a new savings account to buy a second property, a holiday home in the UK, and to have that rent out and have that as like another income coming in. Um, which, if we found one, um, profits could be two grand a month or like. 1,500 profits a month if it kept like 500 to keep it running and bills and stuff so yeah that's that's kind of like the dream that would be like a retirement type of thing um so yeah that we're really that's where we're focused at at the minute with that um what else uh number step seven is giving so that basically means like giving back to the community and just free financially to do whatever you want um, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, that is basically my debt journey, if you like. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to like put the figures on an Instagram post so you can visually see it because I feel like sometimes visually seeing things, the numbers, um, is really great. So let me know. Anyway, that's my debt, emotionally. <laughs> Um, so yeah also what else am I doing to pay the debt off um, this month I've actually started getting into um, receipt apps so basically you take a picture of your receipt and then you upload it and then you get like cash back um, so a lot of them are quite different so you can have them paid into PayPal or you can have them in an Amazon voucher or what else um, yeah, the most are like vouchers, but some you can get paid into your PayPal account. So as soon as I can get them paid into my PayPal account, they will be going straight into my partner's debt. Now, a lot of them are a minimum of like, you have to get to like five pounds worth and then you can withdraw that, the points, if you like, uh, the money. Um, so it does, some of them do take a lot of time to do, some don't. Um, my favourite one so far is Snap My Eat. So basically you take a picture of your food receipts 
and I think every 15 receipts you take a picture of it's five pounds so that's that's really quick considering receipt apps from what I've learned so far this month so yeah there's no referral link you just type it into your wherever you download your apps from if you're I don't know what it's called for an iPhone I don't even know what it's called for, <laughs> for an Android but I just know the tab it's like a Google thing I don't know so yeah or you can just Google snap my eats snap my eats um uh go on the website and it can show you how to download it and everything dead simple dead easy um really really worth downloading that app so yeah i think that's it um i suppose i could give you a quick update on the wedding um it's been cancelled really really good about that um but at the beginning of coronavirus me and my partner did say if the wedding got cancelled then I would have a second dress so you know how like some women will have like a ceremony dress and then they'll have like a reception dress but that's basically what I'm doing so I'm not gonna go crazy as spending wise as much as I did with the first dress so my budget is like 400 and I don't care if it's second hand or not as long as it's what I envision for a second dress that's all I'm saying on that one <laughs> Um, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have some great eBay sales, Amazon sales, Etsy sales. Just, I hope you have a fabulous day. And thanks for watching. And I hope this has helped in any way. Um, so yeah.